Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create a callout title animation in Premiere Pro. If we animate this title effect in After Effects, then we will have more features and able to customize the animation to its core. But that doesn't mean we can't animate it in Premiere Pro. Today I will show you how it's done. This tutorial will have good insights and tricks about Premiere Pro, so be sure to check it. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new sequence. I will use the 1080 pixels, 30 frames settings click OK. Right click here and increase both the video and audio tracks by 5. As you can see we have nothing in our sequence. Click on the pen tool and select ellipse tool. By holding shift and alt make a circle. I will increase the size. We don't need the stroke for now, so we will change it to fill in the effect control panel. Take the anchor point and place it in the center. Premiere Pro don't give much freedom for motion graphics since it's an editing software, so we have to place the anchor point manually in the center. For that place it here and change the anchor point value same as the other one. Now we placed it in the center. Increase the size of the layer. Now place the indicator here. Change the scale to zero and keyframe it. Place the indicator 10 frames to the right and change the scale back to 100. Zoom in here and let's play it. As you see we animated our circle but it looks super slow. To increase its speed we will take this keyframe closer to our first keyframe. Highlight both keyframes and right click on it then select ease out. This will give that smooth transition from that rigid sharp transition. That looks better. Now we will move on to create stroke animation. Hold out and drag this layer up above to duplicate it. Take your time indicator where our scales and keyframe is. Change the option from fill to stroke in the effect panel for our duplicated layer. Increase the scale a lot. I will decrease the stroke size to 8. Now we have one full circle and one stroke circle. Zoom in and place the indicator right in the middle of our scale keyframes. Keyframe the opacity and take the indicator to the end of scales keyframe and bring down the opacity to 0. This will give us the fade out effect. Let's play it. As you can see our stroke effect fades out before our circle, so we will bring our opacity keyframes little to the right. Now that looks perfect. Select both the layers, right click on it and select nest. We will now animate our line. Take the pen tool and make a line like this. Change the filter stroke. Decrease the stroke size a little. Make sure that this line is straight. Take the pen tool on our shape layer and make a mask around our line. Decrease the feather to zero. 
shift select this two points, by using the left arrow key we will bring it to the left until we can't see our line. Now make sure that the indicator is at the start of our layer. Keyframe the mask path. Place the indicator 5 frames to the right. Again shift select the both points and now use the right arrow key to bring the mask to reveal the line completely. Now let's play it and see the animation. That looks super good. Now we will place our line on the circle. Take the line layer and place it exactly where our stroke is in full size. Again take the line layer and place it below our circle layer, so we can hide the line end behind the circle. Place the line end in the center. Play it again. That's perfect. Now place the indicator right where our line animation about to end. Take the rectangle tool and make a shape like this. Click on the fill and trim it to as per our line size. Place the anchor point here so we can animate it too. In the effects control panel uncheck the uniform scale. We now able to change the vertical and horizontal size as per our needs. Change the fill color to yellow. Undo the stroke. Now align the rectangle perfectly to the line. Take the indicator to the start of the layer. Keyframe the horizontal scale and bring the scale to zero. Place the indicator 8 frames to the right and bring the horizontal scale back to 100. Again highlight the keyframes and ease out it. Let's play it. As you see that the animation is too fast, so we will bring the last keyframe little to the right. Again play it. Now that looks perfect, we will now add our text to it and also animate it. Take the text tool and type in the name you want. I will type in our channel name Gentle PSD. Place it in the center of our rectangle and change it to all capital letters. I will use a font called Nexa Bold. Change the color to black. Place that text layer at the start of our rectangle layer. If I play it as you see our background is also black, so we won't be able to see it perfectly. For that we will add a new grey color mat as our background. Select all the layers and bring it one to rack above and create a new color mat. I will choose light grey color. Extend the track. Now that looks better, select the text layer and select rectangle mask tool. Again shift select the points and bring it closer to our text. We will follow the same method we did for our line animation.
bring down the feather to 6. Bring the mask all the way to here. Make sure the indicator is in the start of our layer. Keyframe the mask path and bring the indicator a little to the right. Shift select the points and use the right arrow key to reveal the mask completely. Now if I play it, as you see it animates the exact same as our rectangle, so we will bring the text layer a little to the right. Play it again. Now that looks super good. Select the text and rectangle layer, hold Alt and drag it above to duplicate it. Select that two layers right click on it and nest it. Bring down the duplicated layer below using the position and align it with the line. We will shrink the second shape layer to make it look more dynamic. Double click on the nest layer. Now shrink the shape and text size. Place it in the center. I will change the text to title tutorial. We will change the shape color to red and text color white. Go to the main sequence, center the second title shape layer as to our line. That looks perfect. Now select these two text and shape layer and nest it. I will name it as top text. Place the two nested layers like stairs, so that it will delay the animation one after another. Let's play it. Looks super perfect but we will add some video beneath the layer, and then see how it looks. Select all the graphic layer and nest it. I will name it as call out title. Place the graphic title where we want. Play it now. That looks super awesome. We now created our call out animation in Premiere Pro. I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. If you want this and upcoming tutorial project file kindly became a member of our Patreon. Link is in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any doubt please feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.